to complete our skin tone rainbow project, we will need a pan of watercolor paints, some water, and a paintbrush. We're going to focus on colors found in our skin, such as black, brown, red, orange, and yellow. Now, you may use greens and blues and purples in the background, but for our rainbow, we want to limit our color palette to colors that when we look at our skin, we could see that those colors make up our unique skin tone. Now that we're ready to paint, remember we hold our brush the way we hold a pencil. And during this painting project, we're going to be using those skin tones in our um, pan of watercolor paints, but we're also going to be using the lid of the watercolor set as a palette to blend and make our own individual skin tones. Now you can see that first I'm starting off with a brown. I'm not grinding the paintbrush in the oval of paint. I have it nice and wet and I'm just brushing over and over gently and I'm going to put a small puddle of brown paint in the lid. Now I think I will be using brown quite a bit in this project so before I clean my brush I'm going to go back and get some more brown paint. Again uh, brushing gently over and over on the paint and I'm going to make a second puddle of brown on the lid. Now that I have some brown I can start to customize and create a variety of different skin tones using my brown, black, red, orange, and yellow paints. Now that I have my first skin tone, I'm going to start painting one of the bands in my rainbow. And if you look carefully, you can see that the white oil pastel that I used in the last lesson is now appearing. And I can see this white design emerge when I've covered the paper with a skin tone of paint. Notice that I'm painting gently with the brush, brushing it back and forth in one direction. I'm not grinding the paintbrush in the paper or in the paint. Now that I have all of the arches of my rainbow in a variety of different skin tones, I can now focus my attention to the background. This is the area where I can choose contrasting colors like blues, greens, and purples, or bright reds to enhance my image and let my rainbow stand out.
cleanup is very easy. Once I've cleaned my paintbrush, I'm going to use a piece of paper towel to wipe off my brush to get the extra water off. And I'm also going to use that paper towel to just wipe off the lid of the watercolor pan so that I don't have wet paint um, dripping all over the colors when I close the lid.